Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not up today. I'm, I'm, <laughs> if I don't hear your voice, then I mean you're sleeping. You just logged on and you went back to sleep. And I'm not going to take that. The Holy Spirit is not going to take that from you this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> if you're not in a noisy place, I admonish you. Hallelujah. Good morning to um, Clement, please. Let's let's welcome Pastor Clement. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Okay. You are welcome. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Clement, if you can project Genesis for us, hallelujah. I'm going to play a really soothing song behind I love music. I know I love to listen and I love to sing and worship as well. Bless the Lord. Mm. So let's go. Genesis, Genesis chapter 8, let's go to verse 8. And I want you to 8 8, Genesis 8 8. He says, And it came to pass, eight, verse 8, and he sent. Is that the, am I at the right? Um, but Noah found favor. Well, unless I got my scriptures wrong. It says, no. and, and Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, what I want us to do is secure your altar. Your altar. We're talking about worship this morning. We're talking about worship this morning. And I said, what is your position in the realms of the spirit? We are being taught of righteousness, right? Righteousness. It says before you can, I will I'll keep repeating, 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 because repetition, repetition. And it says faith comes by hearing and hearing again and again and again. Anytime I go back and listen to the word of God again, guess what? I get something new. And I'm like, I, I just listened to this just last week or a few days ago. But this is how the Lord speaks to us. The beginning of our journey is what? Somebody tell me the beginning of our journey is what? Oh. Righteousness. Righteousness. Oh. I don't expect Pastor Mark to be the one answering. Hallelujah. Try. I'm going to call me. Hey, Sister Telma, are you up this morning? Good morning. All the way from Holland. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Evangelist yeah, Indira, right. are you up? Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Sister Joyce. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sister Fia. Amen. Sister I, I want to hear you guys this morning, please. I know they said I shouldn't say this, but I keep saying it. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. You got to open your mouth. Open your mouth. And he says, I shall feel it. I shall feel it. Are you ready to be filled this morning? Yes. Are you ready to be filled this morning? Thank you, Evangelist. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Sister yes. Joyce. Hallelujah. Yes. Sister Fia, thank you. Minister Katie, yes. I want to hear. Yes. Sister Tessie, I want to hear your voice. Hallelujah. Grace and peace, Minister mm -hmm. Osas. I want you to unmute this one. Everybody, I want you to battle your 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 belt because we are going to pray this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So he's going us to pray this morning. He says, and he secured what? His altar. Why was um thank you? So I, I think I got my scripture. So it was Genesis 8, 6, 8. Thank you. Hallelujah. Why did um, Noah find what? Um, favor with God. Why? Does anyone remember the? Why did he find favor? He found favor because of what? Because he understood what it meant to build an altar, to worship, and to sacrifice. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am Amen. reminding us this morning that you are on this altar this morning and I want you 
I want you to lay down. Be intentional. I keep saying it. Be authentic. Be real. Sometimes you don't feel like it. Yes, because we've been beaten. But make yourself. Hallelujah. Let's go to Amen. Psalm 139 verse 23. You're going to say, Father, search me. God, and know my heart. Test me and know my, un my anxious thoughts. God knows you. He knows your position right now. He knows your location right now. But this morning you're saying, Lord Jesus Christ, I lay it all down. I lay down my sacrifice to build this altar of worship. Hallelujah. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. He deserves all the praise and all the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. The glory. Be the glory. All the things. God, if you know the song, sing with me. Be the glory. To God. Be the glory. To God. Be the glory. All the things he has done. I want you to begin as I say and tell him, God be the glory. God be the glory.
spirit alive in me. The scripture says, only those that are led by the spirit are the sons of God. The only way you can know that you are part of him, it is that you are led by his spirit. It is that the spirit of God is at work in you. For oh, this morning, can we back on? Can we back on on the Holy Ghost? Can we back on? You are the spirit alive in Sickness will not stay in my body. Weakness will not stay in my body. Because only those you are that spirit alive in me. Please. Weakness will not stay. Yeah, you are liberty. If you want to come and be drunk of the Holy Ghost, you are liberty. You want to increase your temple. You want to increase your strength. You are liberty. Feel free and come and encounter God. He is the day of expression. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the spirit alive in me. And I pretend to you who knows all things. Can I pretend to you who sees secret? Can I pretend to you who knows my name before I was born? I naked myself before your holy truth. I empty myself before your holy truth. Can I pretend to you who knows all things? Can I pretend to you who sees secret? Can I pretend to you who knows my name before I was born? I naked myself before your holy truth. I am seen. How much can you pretend? How long can you pretend? He said, Come, come boldly, come boldly unto the throne of grace and obtain mercy. Shut up, rock of God, and come, 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 can I pretend to you who knows all things? Can I pretend to you who sees secret? Can I pretend to you who knows my name? I naked myself. How many of you are ready for that? Oh, David said, David said, how long can I pretend? Lord, try me. Lord, search my heart. I don't know how many of you that is ready to make a cry. But the power of the Holy Ghost, it's mighty in the house. I empty myself before your holy. I never can myself. What a get a get What a get by a number. I empty myself. Hey! With you, Lord, I can be naked and not ashamed. With you, Lord, I will be open and have no fear. Because I find in you a friend that I can trust. That is why you will remain my great With you, Lord, I can be naked and not ashamed. With you, Lord, I will be a good and have no fear. Because I find in you a friend that I can trust. Can you trust the Lord? That is why you will remain my great physician. Because I found in you 
a friend that I can trust. That is why you will remain my great physician. Oh, cause I find in you a friend that I can trust. That is why you will remain my great physician. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, with you, Lord. I will be naked and not ashamed, open and not afraid. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, with you, Lord. With you, Lord. I will be naked and not ashamed, open and not afraid. Hey. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, with you, Lord. I will be naked and not afraid, open and not afraid. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, with you, Lord, I will be naked and not ashamed. Open and have no fear. With you, Lord, with you, Lord, with you, Lord, I will come and be naked and not ashamed. With you, Lord. Hallelujah. It says, and King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 20 and 2,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. Yes. Today, I want you to see the house of God as you yourself. You are the body. Your body is the house. Who would like God to come inside and take over? Yes, Father. Yes. I'm not moving on to our prayers if we are uh, we don't break through this morning. Hallelujah. I'm not feeling it. I'm not. Hallelujah. It says he offered, and this this offering, if we change this this to our present day money, how many of us, how many of us give? Even on this altar, you keep coming, you give up yourself. Do you give up your substance? Now I'm calling it out. We never take offering on this altar. But how many of us be intentional and say, you know what, Lord, I keep coming. Sometimes all your, your, your prayers are not being answered because it says there are three things you got to do. Someone mute that, um, that line. Three things but through fasting, prayers, and what? And our offering. There is a 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold. Hallelujah. How many of us, in the name of Jesus, I want you to offer? What do you have? The, the, the woman of um, Zarif, the, um, the, 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 the um, prophet asked, What do you have in your hands? What do you have in your house? And she said, I don't have any, I only have a little flour. I only have a little oil. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to cook and bake it. And me and my son will eat. And after that, we shall die. But she took that step of faith and said, you know what? Let me do it. And offered it to the prophet. How many of you sowed into the word yesterday? I'm going to call it out. I remember one, one, three years or two years ago, I even told the woman of God, Pastor, I don't know if she can testify, that the Lord spoke to me that you sow into the word. So sometimes the, the reason why we lack understanding of the scriptures is because we, we are not sowing into it as well. 
Hallelujah. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 6. Hallelujah. It says, and the priest waited on their offices. Everyone is a priest on this altar. GPS is a priesthood altar. That is our call and that is our goal. He says, and the Levite also with their instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord. Because his mercies endure forever. Can you, if you're on this altar this morning, you can say that his mercies endure forever. Can you declare? His mercies endure forever. His mercy endure forever. By their ministry and the priest sounded the trumpet. Is somebody here ready to sound his or her trumpet? Hallelujah. Ready to sound your trumpet. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It says, Moreover, Solomon hallowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord. For there he offered, he offered, what do you have to offer today? You offer yourself daily. What about your substance? Today I'm going to stretch somebody to offer, to go beyond, above, and beyond, and offer something into the word of righteousness. I was telling the man of God, in fact, for me, for me, one of the best, best, best um, 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 teachings I've been enjoying is this righteousness. Because the righteousness is the beginning. Everything we have been taught, apart from a queen of the south, has been the benefit for you to act, um, to enjoy. It says, seek ye first the kingdom and all other things shall be added. And he's given us that way, the truth and the pathway to manifest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to say it again, let's begin to bless Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. What do you have for Sunde ke ye Thank you. 
to pray hallelujah good morning good morning everyone today is wednesday we are going to take the next um 30 minutes or let's say 25 minutes it's going to be an intense time of prayer i'm going to go boom 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 so i can take one prayer for like one topic we can pray it over and over until i feel that we're breaking through the first um um scripture i want us to um to look at and it's all in the light of righteousness so what we're learning oh, okay second timothy chapter 1 verse 13 oh. and i want to look at it in various um 
Because we are going to use the same, we're going to pray the word of God today. You see, the Bible says the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. And what does he come to steal? He comes to steal the word. He comes to steal the word. Second Timothy 1.13 says, Hold, can we read it together, please? I want to know who is up and who is sleeping. If you're sleeping, let the Holy Ghost wake you up this morning. It's not time for you to sleep. When is this? It's a time of prayer. Can we read it together? Together, please unmute yes. yourself. If you're not okay. in a noisy place, Let's join me. Hold, Hold fast, fast the fall of sound, sound word which thou have heard of me in faith and in love which is in Christ, in Christ Jesus. I want you to bear this word. Hold fast. Hold fast. Two things here. Hold fast the fall of sound word. We um, look at another version. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, 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 hallelujah. Oh, fast. Yeah. Look at a different version. Sound okay, I'm going to read oh, it from fast. here. Um, we're going to look at the New Living Translation or NLT. Okay, it says, What hold on hold to? Can we read it together? The hold to the what pattern? The pattern. The pattern. Oh, hold some oh, teaching. teaching you, you learn from you me. Learn. A pattern shaped by faith, by faith and love that and love you have that you in have Christ Jesus. Christ. Okay, so two things I want you to identify here. Hold on and the pattern of what? Wholesome teaching. And love wholesome teaching. Hallelujah. Bless your heart. Let's pattern. take a different version. Another version, English standard um, version says, follow the, the pattern of of what sound words hallelujah follow the pattern mm. of sound words follow the pattern we uh, have sound words, words that you we are have going to pray on this in the faith and love in the faith so in two faith. things hold fast is number one you're going to pray that oh, we are going to hold fast to this the sound word it says righteousness is a gift. Have heard from righteousness is a gift. It's a free gift. It's a gift. We're going to hold on to it. This sound doctrine. Let's look at BLB. It says retain. Retain the pattern of sound words or sound doctrine. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready for this yes. morning? Yes, and you are going yes. to say, I am holding fast to sound doctrine because sound doctrine is being released on this altar. Mm. But if mm. you don't hold on to this sound doctrine, let me tell you something. You become a casualty. Mm -hmm. And you will not understand what is happening to your life. Mm. So if you are ready to pray this morning, I said we're going to be praying. I don't want to talk much, but I'm no. going to take the scripture. We're taking the scripture and we're going to pray. We say we are holding fast to the sound <laughs> doctrine. Even if you haven't heard the sound, if you haven't heard the scriptures or you, you haven't gone to play back, please go back and play back and listen and listen and listen. He said, faith comes by what? Hearing, hearing, and hearing, and hearing again, again, again and again. again. So let's take this prayer that I am holding fast to sound doctrine. I am holding fast to righteousness. I am holding fast to, I am fast holding now, fast to the pattern that is being in the name the of Jesus. I am following through in the name of Jesus. I said, devil, you will not steal this word. What ground are you this morning? I want you to secure the word of God that has been deposited in your being this morning. Let's begin to pray. Remember, I said, what is your position? Your position is your profession. Lord, I will not lose it. 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 I will not lose
Amen. Okay, I, want to, I want to give the second prayer point, and this is taken from Romans chapter 10, verse 1. We're still on the topic of righteousness. The first prayer, I said, we are securing the sound doctrine that the enemy will not steal the this doctrine uh, will not steal this word in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 1. Um, I'm going to repeat. You might hear it as a repeat, but it is okay. It is okay that it's repeating, repeating, repeating until it takes seed. Takes seed in the soil of your heart this morning. Says, yes. Let's go to verse, verse 2. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Many of us have the zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Hallelujah. Not yes. according to knowledge. Mm. Yes, for they be ignorant of God's righteousness. The reason why many of us are, are, are the way we are. We are yo-yo, yo-yo. Most of us are yo-yo. Today you are up, tomorrow you are down. We do not want, we want to flow in that mm. righteousness. We want to flow in the blessing. Amen. Because remember what the man of God said? He says there is an inferior and there is what? A, a superior type of prayer. The reason why your, your prayers are effective. Remember what the Bible says? The righteous man's prayer, what availeth much. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Much. And the reason why it avails much is because of the knowledge of what righteousness is or who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, I'm just reminding you, we are going to pray and activate that ignorance. He says, you know, the greatest trick of the enemy is to distract you. 
and he distracts you. You know what he how he distracts you? He distracts you with marital problems. He distracts you with financial problems. He distracts you with health issues. Mm, mm, that mm. is a distraction from focusing in the Lord. Mm, mm. And he says, lack of knowledge, my people perish. He didn't say lack of finances, my people perish. He didn't say lack of marriage, my people perish. He didn't say lack of not having um, money in your, that you perish. No. Mm. Lack of knowledge, because it is the knowledge that you have that brings what um, liberation. Mm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray mm. on this. That we have been ignorant for too long, but praise mm. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, praise God. If you are on this altar, if you keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Somebody's telling me I'm taking a sab sabbatical because I want to. And I said by yourself, I said the devil it wants to isolate you and put you on a corner, mm. and you will to feel depressed. You begin to be oppressed. Mm. There is yeah. fellowship. There is anointing in corporate prayer. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, you're going to pray for that knowledge to be activated, that revelation to that mystery to begin to take root in the name of Jesus. It says the effectual prayer of a righteous man. So that means if you are not righteous, yesterday when I was when we were analyzing, I realized that my righteousness has been self-righteousness. I am number one. I will I will tell you that I confess I'm number one. I know how to mm. condemn. I know how to judge. I tell um oh Rabbi, Father, forgive me. First of all, let's ask God to forgive us. For our own self-righteousness, the law, the law, the law. Let's begin to pray. Father, forgive us. Where we've been so where we have judged, where we have condemned, let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the mercy of God begin to fill this morning. Let the and we shall not be able to get the money 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 to get the money
Hebrews chapter 5. In Jesus' precious name, we are still in that prayer in the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. He says, For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. Many of you on this altar have be, have, have be, were born again when you were six years old, nine years old, 15 years old, 18 years old, 20 years old. By now, we should be, we should just declare, speak, and things should be happening. But we are being taught again. Why? Because in the beginning, we were indoctrinated in the wrong doctrine. Doctrine, some of the doctrines were, were the law. Because when I go back and I reflect, I said, oh my God, this is why I was this way. And this is why I thought this way. But praise God in the name of Jesus. That Amen. light has come. That life has come. And it came by the embodiment of the man of God. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. The, the anointing that you honor. Hallelujah. The anointing that you honor. The anointing that you honor. I'm going to keep saying it. If you do not honor the anointing that is above you. Let me tell you. The thing will not flow from the crown to the bottom. It will not flow. You need to be in that position where you are drawing and drawing and drawing. I bug him every minute, every second. If I don't understand something, you got to keep drawing and draw in. You see, the Bible says, unless God draws us, sometimes all you have to say, draw me, draw me, draw. I cannot draw. Sometimes it's hot. Prayer life is down. Today you are praying it. Tomorrow you're down. Your, your pocket is down. You are sick. You are, oh my God. We're going to pray. Say, for when, for the time you ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And I become such a, such as have need of milk and not of strong milk, meat. Hallelujah. Verse 13. Amen. It says, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful. Who wants to be skillful this morning? Amen. It says, in the word thank you whoever that is god bless you it's mm. only one person that yeah. is receiving this morning Amen. and skill of righteousness 
That is the key. It's because we are unskillful in unrighteousness. We are babies. And that is why we are the way we are. That is why we are not enjoying the benefit of the kingdom. Mm. That is why we have to toil and toil and toil and toil mm-hmm. and toil. And mm-hmm. that was the curse that came in the beginning. He says from today, like the snake was cursed, that you will, you will, you, you, you will be on your belly and crawl on your belly. The mm. curse came mm. on the man. Mm. And mm. you know when mm. the curse came on the man, what, the, what, what he said? He said you will toil. He says the ground will be hardened. That we that. The reason why you and I are toiling is because the ground is hardened. The only way that ground will be broken in the name of Jesus is when we catch the revelation and the understanding of what righteousness is and begin to believe and see ourselves as righteous people. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost fire begin to set us ablaze in this in this season in the name of Jesus. It says this month of, of, of shining. This month of shining. This month is a month of shining. And as the month is beginning to end, we are going to shine. He says, but the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more onto a perfect day. You're going to pray this morning. I am securing my, my life under the blood and under the anointing and under the fire and under the unction on this altar in the name of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. Verse 11 says, Whosoever believeth in whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. You shall not be ashamed. Hallelujah. Is somebody then hearing me? If you believe in the Lord, will not put you to shame. Hallelujah. Verse 10. The heart man believeth unto what? Righteousness. Let's go back to verse 10. Unto what? Believe that unto righteousness. We are going to pray about our belief, the state of our belief, the state of our belief. Remember, in the New Testament, the man came to Jesus. He said, Lord, Lord, help me, help my unbelief. Sometimes you you think you believe, you think you have faith, you think you have it, but you do not. You do not have it. Because when the wind blows, you will you, you begin to move and to and fro. He says, for with the heart, man believeth in righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That confession is the boldness. That was why Jesus was able to go to the tomb and say, Lazarus, arise, because he knew who he was, that boldness. Hallelujah. That is why David was able to tell Goliath that you uncircumcised Philistine. Can you say that to the devil this morning? Hallelujah. You uncircumcised Philistine. You are to the devil this morning say that to the, any problem that you have any Goliath in your life this morning and you declare that right now rebels Oh, 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 oh,
The last two prayer points. Hallelujah. Listen, I am going to flip this away. Hallelujah. Please listen. Just give me one minute of your attention. Two types of righteousness. He says God's righteousness and our own righteousness. But he says God's righteousness, what does it do? Why does it attract? Because it says, it says what? When the woman, the adulterous woman, oh my God, ah, how, 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 when I remember, I have, I have, oh Father, forgive me. When we we judge people because of greatly, I once told them, when I said, hey, Rahab, that was a hard lot, but guess what? She was positioned because if she wasn't positioned to be there and if she wasn't a hand, guess what? The, 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 the men would not have been able to be given and she would not have been in the geology of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sometimes you are positioned in an awkward position. Oh, baby, you're not hearing me. You are yes. positioned yeah. the reason for a season for all. an assignment and you are there and you are struggling and you are fighting with what God is doing and God is saying that I put you there for a reason. Let you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Let us be given a We are not going to repel. We are praying in the name of Jesus. The sinners run away from us. Why? Because we are always criticizing. We are praying for the love of God to overwhelm us. So that we can preach to the lost souls. Let the love of God overwhelm us. Let the love of God Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't hear anyone this morning. So we, hallelujah. Can we turn down the music just for a moment? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask just once more. We're going to close. I'm going to just give the announcements and greet those we haven't greeted. And then we're going to share the grace thing. We're going to close. But just um, can we, those that can unmute, unmute yourselves. And I just want to hear us give God some praise this morning. Can we just say hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor, you, woman of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for whew, a powerful session. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, just one more thing. One more time. One more time. Just say, I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whew. The sessions have been powerful. They have been true. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. They have been life changing. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to pull up my thing so we can greet one another. Remember, we're back here today. Hallelujah. At 1230. Amen. We are fasting till six. Hallelujah. And we're back here at 1230. And we'll be back again at 5 30 after that hallelujah so that we Amen. close out pray and close out our fast together hallelujah if you're able to come please do hallelujah hallelujah Amen. um and then we'll be we will be back here in the morning hallelujah for um testimony thursday freedom Amen. friday and soaring saturday <laughs> hallelujah for all three of those days we are fasting and praying hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. And we will start to, tomorrow will be, be our first day. Hallelujah. Amen. And we will be on from 530 to 830. 530 to 830 for three hours. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. The morning. Um, let's see who we've missed this morning. Of course, um, Pastor Beatrice. Good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Good morning. E Evangelist Good morning. Monroe. Good morning and God morning. bless you, Lord God. Sister Joyce, good morning and God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Brother Amen. Augustine, good morning and God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a comfort. God bless you. Hallelujah. Minister Ovi, yes. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't speak to you this morning, Minister Ovi. Hallelujah. I do apologize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister. Buella, good morning to you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 
I believe Minister Osis is on. God bless you. Sister Hallelujah. Esther, God bless you. Sister Susanna, Amen. God bless you and welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us this morning. Our sister Thelma, God bless you. And of course, Mama Zaina, good morning. God bless you. We love you all and we thank God for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go ahead at 701 and share the grace. Hallelujah. And we'll Amen. see you all that can at 1230. Hallelujah. I forgot Evangel Singazi. I did forget about you. Please forgive me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Praise Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let us share the grace. Mm-hmm. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the friendship and the love forevermore. Amen. God's goodness and mercy that follow us all the days of the night. And we are dwelling in the house of the Lord His presence ever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Let me teach you. This is the voice of God. Let me train you. Come on. My daughter, come on. My son, come on. Come on. Come on. Let me train you. Let me pick you up. Let me wait. My daughter, come on. Come on. Come, let me help you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come from me, Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired now. My strength is failing me. Come from me, oh Holy Ghost. Come for me, Holy Ghost. I hear somebody making this cry saying, Holy Ghost, come. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired now. My strength is failing me. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost, come for me. And they were all gathered in one accord. And there came upon them a mighty rushing wind, as clothing tongues of fire. And they began to speak in their own tongues. Hey! Come for me, Holy Ghost. The same way you came for the apostles. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired now. My strength is failing me. Holy Ghost, come for me. Holy Ghost, come for me. Holy Ghost, come, oh. Come for me, oh. Holy Ghost. Come for me, oh. I will go until my healing comes. Yes. Until my breakthrough yes. comes, yes. until yes. that opened us. In this last verse, you are believing God for job breakthrough. You are believing God for healing. You are believing God for deliverance. Flood to the altar. In this last verse, mighty miracle is about to happen. Until that opened us. Yes. Come up, come up, come up. You want to be delivered. I will pray. You are trusting God for job. Until come thy kingdom come. Come and flood your expectation. Until thy will be done. Come Until the revival comes, and begin to speak it oh, all. We are in a world full of destruction. Yes. We are in a world full of destruction. If I don't, so we may. Eh, garosoli, garosh.